So real quick, I'm going to show you the best method to be using to go ahead and collect the collectible cars here over at the special vehicle warehouse. So this is actually on new gen, going to be part of a career challenge right here for the import exports is something I'm working on right now. And I just wanted to go ahead and share with you the method that I am using right now to go ahead and collect all the collectible vehicles. So here's all the collectors right there, and the collectors themselves are looking for a specific vehicles with specific license plates. So this is what I did. So I'm over at the Import Export Garage Special Vehicle Warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and get on the computer real quick. And then we're going to press R1. We're going to go over here. So I've already collected a bunch of cars, and collectors have already met their quota here. But I still have a bunch of other cars. So this is what I've done, is I've made a list here on my computer. So I just popped open like a text, and I wrote down every single car and every single license plate that I needed. So right now, we only need about eight cars, I think, to complete the whole collection, which there's going to be 10 collections in which you have to go ahead and complete for the career challenge, but terribly not the hardest. This is just going to be a little bit time consuming because we're looking for specific vehicles. So once again, I have that list of cars that I need like to get, right? So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just source vehicles, which is done over at your CEO office, just like this. We're just going to go ahead and source one up and then hope to God that it's a car that I need. So bottom left hand corner is going to say the car and it's going to say the license plate. So lucky for me, that's actually a car that I need to complete one of the collections. So we're going to go after that car. Now, here's what happens if you do not see the car or the license plate necessarily on the list that you made is just restart application load back into your maze bank tower and just source again until you can get one of the cars on your list so that's as easy as it gets right there that's literally what i've been doing so if it's not the car that's on the list then i don't want it so i'm just going to restart my application now, when it comes to the cargo, Bob, it's going to be one of the better vehicles to be using while dealing with the special vehicle warehouse. Just accidentally landed it again. So the great thing about a cargo, Bob. Now, here's another thing, too, about the cargo, Bob. If you have a fully upgraded cargo, Bob, that's chilling in your hangar, you might want to think about, you know, using that cargo, Bob, instead of something like this cargo, Bob, which doesn't have any armor. So the more that I'm getting shot at here, this thing is not very tough whatsoever. It's about as tough as a Sparrow helicopter fully upgraded, you know. So just keep that in mind, too, while you are picking up vehicles, particularly is using a personal cargo, Bob, yourself. So right here, I'm just trying to hook this. It's a little bit difficult because the tree's right there. But the cargo bob is great. Why? Because it's going to minimize the damage that the vehicle is actually taking. Because when we take it back to the shop, we have to pay for the damages to fix it back up before we get to actually sell it. So we don't want to be doing that. And I lost the cargo bob. It's okay. We were able to deliver the vehicle with minimal damage. And once again, this is actually one of the vehicles that I needed. You can see right there in the bottom left-hand corner. Career challenge complete right there. So four out of ten. So right now, my list only has seven more cars that I have to go ahead and get. So literally, what I'm going to do at this time, since I'm here, I've got my spawn location set to my maze bank tower. So since there's going to be a timer on doing the actual, you know, sourcing of vehicles, I'm just going to restart my application. When I load back into an invite-only session, I'm going to load back into my maze bank tower. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and continue to source. And if I don't get the car that's on the list... I'm just going to once again keep restarting application, loading back into the maze bank tower, and then just keep sourcing vehicles until I can actually get one of the vehicles that's on my list, which right now only got seven more to go. So I'm pretty sure I'll be done with this by the end of the day. So if this video was helpful in helping you guys source those collectible cars, it's literally all you have to do. Make that list. That list for me is super, you know, easy because all I got to do is just like, okay, once we get a car, look at the list, not on the list, either restart application or go get the car. And definitely want to think about using those cargo bobs because they're pretty useful. But anyways, from there, if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful, be sure to hit that like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, leave comments, go share this video, follow me on Twitter, go check out the channel where we got tons of other videos videos just like this and thank you all for watching and supporting my channel my name is gravesite green alien and i'm out of here so peace